early morning and we're headed to well, almost Indianapolis. Going to go check out a lake and pick up another sailboat. Looks like a little wooden hand built. I'm excited to see it and check it out. So thought I'd bring you guys along. doesn't look like I'll be going through here because I don't have a chainsaw in the truck. Okay, well, let's try another route. The other road was underwater too, so. Found a way around it. I'm just worried about these low spots here. They like to flood, so. A lot of rain, a lot of wind. This is a pretty significant storm, it would appear. But I'm determined and I will get there one way or another. Well, believe it or not, we've made it We're about a mile away. So, keep an eye out for the boat. It should be in the front yard. He sent me a picture of the front yard of the boat. on the 
this, he had a zoom in, or I'm sorry, a Force 5 as well, which, nice boat. That's dedication if you're out fishing today. Which I'm not exactly sure that's what he's doing. But he is out on the water and the water is up. I noticed a really big pump back there. <laughs> Makes me wonder if they're they're pumping the lake down because it's getting close to some of the structures. You can see here off to the right. And they have had a lot of rain. So I got the rig turned around. Let's head back to the guy's house here. It'd be a lot easier to back in in this direction since he's setting in a curve. So I see the boat up here on the left. Trying back in there without crashing in. I'll just pull it. Easier. Not too bad with it. Alrighty, we made bottom it. paint. Oh, excellent, excellent. It's uh, yeah, un unused. Okay. Um, yeah, she looks good. Yeah. Good deal. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So wow. This is a 1971. Yes, sir. International FJ. Okay. It's from uh, from Holland. So this is a Dutch-made boat that was imported here <laughs> and was sitting at the country at the yacht club. Wow. So you know, for us, I mean, somebody was going to scuttle it essentially. No I mean, way. They were make it into like a flower garden. I'm like, no. Look, I want to buy the boat. And, you know, and I sailed it for a couple of years, but now it's, like I said, you know, one boat too many here. See, now this is what I want. I want the history of these boats because it can That's stay right. with the boat. That's right. Oh my yeah. gosh. So, you know, here's, uh, wow. <laughs> and I, wow. I had the cover made for her. So yes, sir. I'm going to give this to you as well. Oh, it's thank you so the, much. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Amanda, my wife, she's, she's like, that's my boat. She said that, yeah. She well, said this is this is the boat I want. Truth be told, uh, yeah, I, I I I bought it thinking my wife would enjoy this too. But um, like I said, it's a it's a it's a bit much. It's it's a it's a racing boat. I, I love mean, it's, it. It's a performance boat. No and doubt. It has all the controls that a Flying Dutchman has. Okay. So this was the training boat, the Olympic class training boat for the Flying Dutchman, and. Um, uh, you know, I don't know quite how many of these were made, but, uh, um, you know, now, of course, they're all fiberglass, but it's, it's the same specifications. It's an international class. So. This is beautiful. Yeah, so she's, she is a beauty. Um, well, and, she's uh, going to be well taken care of yeah. and going to a good home. Yeah, yeah. and, uh, you know, she's been covered her whole life uh, in indoors mostly. She's been outside, uh, okay. mostly upside down when I... Uh, um, you know, before I got the cover for the, for the No, no, no. She'll go. She just uh, needs a, you know, a bit of hand sanding and uh, mm -hmm. um, and varnish, and she is, you know, back at it. No, and that's that's great. Yeah, she'll be stored inside in our garages. Yeah. No doubt about it. So here's your here's your mass step. Yes, sir. All right. So you're stepping in here. These come out. Okay. And the uh, the the toe. I just took her down, uh, and I do. Yeah. I did this all myself. So the toe just sits right inside those, those, those bolts. Yes, sir. And up she goes. Okay. Um. And you have your uh, um, control here. Okay. So that's your force stay. Yes, sir. And that's controlled here. Oh wow! Okay. Okay. So this controls your rake of the mast. I noticed it was right back in one of the pictures pretty far. That's right. So that's this, cool. This controls the right here, Matt. Yes, sir. And that's that's all done right here. Oh, that's wow. All done right here through that control. So you, so you can see you, your helmsman can manage that right there. Okay. And um, uh, what else is important to know about this? Um, 
and then your 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 stays come through here and bolt in. Bolt and, in. And okay. Bolt in here. And you may want to change these. I uh, these worked fine for me, but um, when I got this, it did not have any any hardware. But you know. And then your uh, your gym, you know, works here. Okay. And and attaches. It's so, <laughs> so neat. Yeah. Oh, that's so neat. And you can control the uh, you know the swing of the of the jib. Okay. Through here. And Good the deal. Angle of it too. Uh, are, uh, um, I think these are called the butler blocks. Yes, sir. Yeah, so. um, wow. I knew it would be really neat. Right. I didn't know this, this it would be this neat. I no, mean, no, she that's is, a nice boat. Yeah, I'm she, excited. She's a beauty. Um, um, I had a minor crack in the hull. Okay. Um, but it was uh, right at the, uh, right around the uh, center board. I repaired it. I fared it. And okay. she... Um, uh, um, just needs another um, another sanding, okay. and then that's what that bottom paint's for. Then we'll, yeah, we'll put it in the garage and flip it and yeah. and knock that out. Right, and uh, and then and then she's uh, you know she'll she'll be real seaworthy. Oh, I can't wait! I can't uh, wait. You know, and, and she's got this second um, you know uh, flotation all underneath, of course. Okay. Yes. So I many some of the newer boats have. Oh signs, yeah, I see. But the flotation is all underneath. That makes it so much cleaner looking, though. You know, and if you look back here, you know, so here's your here's your clubs, and the clubs right. are, are in that box. In the okay. So I just kept it so she could drain. Awesome. So she's kind of sitting <laughs> off a bit. And then there's your um, your cleanouts to up here, and there's one under the uh, under the uh, combing up front. Okay. In the, uh, in, in, inner panel. Um, I put these in myself just to keep the uh, um, the water splash in out from the uh, you know following the water. Sure. That's all. And then um, a tensioner there. Right. That's, right. Exactly. You know. That's you neat. Can use them or or not uh, um, or adjust them. As no, for sure. Yeah. But I, they come in handy, especially sailing alone, because sometimes a um, a motorboat will just come by. Right. And fill you with water. Right. So, now, is this for a traveler system or what? Uh, no, that would be for the uh, uh, for running your kite. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And and managing it from the managing it from the helm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But uh, this does not have a spinnaker. It has a whisker pole here. Okay. But you don't have a this. I don't have a kite for it, so well, they're only this big. Well, this is getting ready to say, I've got a spinnaker for a mirror. Yeah, it might be similar. Okay, check that out. Here's your, oh, wow. Okay. Here's your oh, um, oh I neat. one on the snipe. Um, but this, this would go here, essentially. I see. Okay. I mean, it would sit there. And so this, this is what controls your, uh, keeps that, it's a symmetrical spinnaker too, but this would keep your, uh, yeah. I got to find one now. Well, yeah. <laughs> That'd yeah. be neat. No. <laughs> That'd be so Maybe cool. one at the club still. I mean, it may be in our sail loft. Okay. I'll look. I made a note to do that. And I would run up and get it. And, you know. My guess, yeah, I'd, I'd send it over to you. It's, it's, it's probably no bigger than that box. Sure. But I, um, I, I don't know. Well, Amanda's going to come up and see all this. She had to work. She's a nurse. Had to work today. So she's a little bummed that she couldn't come with us. Okay, nice. So, so anyway, here, uh, here she is. Well, I'm going to turn this off and we'll give you some uh, cash. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, oh, oh, and the sale. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, oh wow. Uh, the sails are in excellent shape, and these are these are her racing sails. So this is your um, jib. Yes, sir. And the jib is brand new. Okay. Um, and you wanna put the thing up? You it yeah, you don't need to pull. I, I'm perfectly fine. With Oh wow! Yeah, it's not even dirty. I don't know, the jib is as crisp as can be. It sure is. And the, uh, and the mainsail. And the I just pulled these out of my little sail loft down in the basement. Okay. But, oh yeah, but I mean, it's still good. Yeah. How, how uh, crispy sails still are. So and awesome. these are you know USA sails. 
Um, ah, I'm excited. Uh, you know, um, that is a Doyle, I think, but that is that is a intensity. Intensity and Doyle. Okay, gotcha. All righty. Well, we'll... Um, and uh, I made some uh, um, cradles for them just to kind of sit the boat. Okay. Here, you, that's for you too. Yeah, that'll help me strap it down, keep it safe. And yeah. I brought a yeah. big. I carry these old inflatable mattress looking things just for extra mm -hmm. um, padding and stuff. So, yeah. All righty. Well, I'm going to shut this off and give you some cash. Yeah, and the, and the block embedded in the uh, mast up here. So, Tom. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> and, thank you very much. Yeah, no, my pleasure. Are you my, kidding? I'm glad it's going to a good home has gifted us a gaff rig that we will now use on the boat acrimony. So you guys have watched the other videos of where we're restoring that boat. Well, actually doesn't need restored, but where we're outfitting it to be more 18th century correct. So he's, he's gifted the acrimony project an entire gaff mast and, and rigging. So can't thank you enough. And that just cut out weeks of Oh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I would like you to consider buying it at I, some point. I this, sure will. This is an Olympic class snipe. It's yes, 1974, sir. and I bought it from a, uh, uh, a snipe class organization up in Indianapolis. It was being scuttled in the backyard, and a friend of mine that uh. I knew from work <laughs> said, why don't you come and get this boat from us? He was going to cut it up and turn it into firewood. Are you so, serious? <laughs> yeah. And I, I refurbished it. I repainted it. Put, touched it up with some fiberglass. And uh, we ran all the lines. So she is ready to go. It looks great. And uh, yeah, no, she's in excellent shape. Ooh. And um, uh, yeah, uh, all working controls. I mean, this this one is, is fiberglass. So, you know, she's in a little bit of a... Uh, Place than that than Woody is, but, sure, but, but still, it's beautiful. And um, this is something my wife and I were sailing for the last four or five years or so. Okay, so um, yeah, let me know um, if you do decide to sell it, and uh, it may end up in West Virginia. So, yeah, I'm very interested in it. Yeah. I love that collar too. It's you know, like a hot rod yellow. You no, know, it is. And this is what this is the original color. Neat. Remember, I just redid her. Um, um, yeah. So she, um, uh, she just needs a rub rail, but that's a you know a strip of wood. Easy, we'll right? Easy. Um, that's, yeah. Just did the one on the Newport you saw. Yeah. I did it in White Oak. Right. And um, you know, I mean, everything's. Uh, yeah, she's 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 ready to go. Um, and she's got a uh, full uh, aluminum centerboard, you know, four foot okay. aluminum centerboard. Okay. You slide down, down the trunk there. Gotcha. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the uh, snipe. Right. Yeah. yeah, I've seen pictures of them. I don't think I've ever seen one in yeah. person. So. Yeah. Yeah, and no, she's a beauty. She sure is. And, and, and fast. And, and same thing, I have some, uh, you know, covers and scuppers back here to... To keep me, uh, uh, you know, to keep me from getting, you know, kind of full of wet in the back. Sure. Um, you know, same thing with my controls back here to let out. I like that. But and this one has the, the conventional traveler. Traveler, mm -hmm. okay. Right. And your main sheet is all controlled right here on the helm. So you're in a big seating area, and then your jib, so it can be single-handed. But it really does require a jib person. I mean, you know, on a big wind because okay. it has more sail. A, it does. It's it's it a, would. Yeah, the size of the mast. Boat, you know? And the boom she's is substantial, a, she's too. She's a 16-footer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. yeah, definitely keep me in mind, please. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I know how to get here. <laughs> That's yeah. half the battle. Yeah. So anyway, and, and she's got a, that cover with her, too. So right out of here. And off I go to the big lake. Okay. And then the lake is about uh, three and a half miles long, that way. So this is Lake Lemon. Lake Lemon, right. In uh, Unionville and in Bloomington, Indiana. Your, okay. Uh, this house is on the Unionville side in Brown County. Uh, these houses over here are in Bloomington and Monroe County. Wow. <laughs> but the water's up today. I see that. Yeah, so I've, and I've got a floating dock, so um, I've got to wait it down. <laughs>
with my extension poles in. So but here's my little launch. That's so neat. You see the launch that I have here for uh, to drop my boats in the water, and they all go in off oh, this. Oh yeah. And my winch. I saw something up there with the rollers on it. I wondered what that was for. Your hand and winch. This winch comes right out. Ah. But I can also, uh, I can drop in the woody, my snipe, and my force box right here. And they go in as pretty as you please, right into the, uh, you know, right into the water, and then I deploy them off the dock. And That's so cool. Yeah. Well, you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to come up, find them a hotel, come in one weekend, and meet you on the lake and do some sailing. There you go. Yeah, there you go. I love let's, this. Let's that, yeah. This is so pretty. Yeah. Neat stuff. Yeah. So this is Bean Blossom Creek okay. that fills this lake up with uh, not just water, but all the sediment as well. And, um, right. Yeah, but but it's, it's a natural a, lake then. It's a watershed, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, a, it's, it, it's dammed. I see. Okay. And there's a spillway at the other end. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and like yeah. I said, about uh, three miles, roughly, as a crow flies. Good deal. To, the, yeah. to the west. Yeah. So here's north. Right okay. Here. I, I've got to come up and check it out. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I'm going to get home before it gets way, way dark. Um, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, stay yeah. stay in touch with me, yeah. too. There's a smile on my face for a reason. Wow. I'm soaked, and then I'm stoked. I don't want to get hit by a train. I can't thank Tom enough. Amazing deal on a beautiful little wooden boat. On top of that, he takes me to the side of his garage, as you saw, and gives me a whole mass set up for acrimony. Now, we'll get in there and see with the weight and uh, the size of the mast if she fits and how well she fits. If not, there's definitely another boat project that would call for that, that mast and that gaff. Just, wow, what a gift. It just... I don't know, I don't want to wax philosophical here, or Wayne, or whatever you call it, but you, know, you get down, listen to the news, and all the craziness going on in the world, and then you get to get out and meet some really good people. And I have yet to meet a sailor that wasn't top-notch. So, it's another good example of hopefully making a friend, and maybe even somebody to sail with in the future. So, headed home. Uh, Still raining, <laughs> and I'm wet, but I am tickled to death. Even cheap boats aren't cheap. <laughs> Baby's got to eat though. She's doing really good. 19 miles to the gallon. I can't complain. Actually, 19.6. No complaints at all. Looks like it's riding really well. Straps are good. Tighten them up a little bit. I'll watch. Make sure we don't bust anything out. I think we're good. Okay, five hours of driving. It's time to get started. Starting to come back into Kentucky. What's crazy is Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky all come together right over there in the river three states so if you had a boat you could go to the three states corners and be in three states at one time i guess we got through the traffic still have three more hours to get home it is 7 15 that's 14 hours 
on the road. L minus hour or so to load the boat. Doing great. Coming into Eastern Kentucky, getting ready to cross over into West Virginia here very soon. About an uh, hour and 30 minutes left. So, it's been a good trip. And a lot of rain. Well, the dog's waiting for me. <laughs> I'm home. I'm gonna unload or unhook and get some sleep and turn around and drive to Southern Georgia tomorrow. Pick up a McGregor. So stay tuned.